And I am hitting the call button. <laughs> you can hear me all right, JJ? I can hear you just fine, and I can see right. your beautiful face, too. Hootie, hootie. Oh, thank you. Thank Love you. It. Thank you. Good thank you. Sorry. This morning. Yeah, it's good to hear from you guys. Speak to you as well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Had a great weekend. Got to put a put a Kangen machine in for a real good friend, or actually one of my one of my relatives that uh, mm -hmm. she bought herself a Kong machine, and I'm really happy about that. You know, anytime somebody buys a Kong machine, it just brings warmth to my heart, whether they're buying it from me or from someone else, or I don't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's beauty. That's the beauty of the industry, isn't it? Yeah, amen. what we're doing. And um, it's just fabulous, I, sh I shall say. Just simply fabulous. I can't wait to hear your story because, uh, you know, I, I actually saw you when you interviewed Bob Wright. Mm -hmm. Your interview with Bob Wright, and I thought it was mm -hmm. fantastic. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we were graced to have Bob Wright on the show here, too, and got a chance to mm -hmm. meet him. And, and so that was a really a tremendous gift. And, and so it's wonderful to have you here, too. And mm -hmm. so... Mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get this rolling, but let me let me start with our introduction. Um, you know, everybody, we are the Kong family. You guys know who we are by now, I'm sure. But we are the Kong family, and we have this really simple goal. We just want to change the world. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there who think that maybe that's kind of a crazy goal. That's unobtainable, whatever. You know, the the, the truth of the matter is, is we're watching it happen every single day. And we're making it happen every single day. And so, you know, that's what our goal is. We're doing it one glass of hydrogen rich, 9.5, and one lightning bolt in a box, and one incredible guest and amazing family at a time. And today we are so graced to be blessed to have Christina Lee coming to us from Canada. And uh, I think that Christina has a tremendous story to tell, and I can't wait to hear it. I'm just as giddy as a kid in a candy store. And so, anyway, with all that said, Christina, good morning. How the heck are you up there in Canada? Is it warm or cold <coughs> there? It's, it's fabulous. Today is one of the most fabulous days. Um, uh, it's around, we, do by, we go by Celsius here. It's around 27 Celsius today. And you know what's the most amazing, amazing thing, JJ? Today is a very special day for Canada. Probably for, for the NBA fans out there, you know that we actually won the NBA championship. Wow. You know, we are one. We're one family no matter what. But this is the very first time that the, the uh, Larry O'Brien trophy is being traveled up north, which was meant to be traveled around the world anyways, right? So this time is from USA to Canada. And today is actually our NBA parade day. So yeah. it's a we, the north day. So therefore, actually, guess what? Two million people were scattering in the Toronto city center for that parade right now at this very moment. <laughs> and, uh, and the Raptors team is actually um, uh, doing a parade um, uh, uh, around the city there. So it's really, really cool. So today is a very special day, guy. Yeah, hey man, I, I, was, I was talking to Sean Rice about the, about the game when they mm -hmm. uh, ended up losing on Monday and, and we were having a chat about it. And I was just hoping, I was telling him, you know, I'm tired of the Golden State Warriors. I want to see Toronto take them out. And oh. that was wonderful seeing that happen. And, uh, and yeah, it was uh, – I think it's great. I love Kawhi Leonard. I think that oh, guy is just uh, – I'm hoping he's going to stay in Toronto, really. Um, yeah. You know, he's, he's a humble dude. He doesn't have anything to say. He's not all boastful about himself. And, he, and he's just a tremendous, tremendous player. And, and in my opinion, a great role model with the way he handles himself. And so I hope that he stays up with, up there with you guys. And, and, uh, you know, there's word that he's going to the Lakers. I'm like, ah, no, uh, no, no, not the Lakers. No, 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 no we, You never know. You never know. But, but, but truly the interesting thing is that I, I used to be a basketball fan. And then I, I, I stopped watching for quite a number of years because of war, because I'm, I'm, I've been running my own family business. So just to get too busy out of it. And uh, it's because of Raptors this year, that actually aroused my interest to go back to watch it. You know, I learned a huge lesson, probably JJ, I think you will probably feel the same, is that when I'm watching at the Raptors uh, playing their game this season, I learned a lot from them because it reminds me a lot of how we operate our business in a Najik family. Uh, don't you agree, JJ? Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, and, and, and the interesting thing is that like basketball, like, so let's use basketball as, basketball as an analogy. It seems to be easy to handle, put it that way. Everybody can play the ball. 
put it that way. I can tell you that if uh, by, st by statistic, basketball is the most welcome sports around the world because anybody, uh, next to soccer, basically anywhere who just need to get a ball, they can play anywhere. They don't need a court, they don't need a net, they don't need anything. And they will be able to, you know, um, uh, exercise their, their strength along from it. And you don't need to have a big team because in a basketball court, only five people need to play. And what I love about a basketball game so much is because by seeing, by seeing, by, by seeing the five people playing on the court, we, there are actually no position, put it that way. There's no offense, there's no defense, there's no center. But really, we're trying to fill in the gap for each individual uh, on the basketball game in order, to, in order to fill the gap to win the game. And this is exactly the winning strategy of uh, Raptors this year. Uh, we see that uh, we see there's a new coach on, 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 uh, on, on the field this year. It's a brand new coach who has never been any head coach of any other team, but have been Raptors for long. Super passionate about Raptors. Um, uh, you know, and, and, and our key players didn't come to Raptors the previous years. Was a newbie on to Raptors, right? It's a brand new, brand new team that, that was put forth. Lesson learned is that actually it's no different than our energy persons. You do not need to be, you know, be in the field for long. You do not need to be, a, be, um, no, no, be the expert of water. And you do not need to be in MLM industry before. All you need is just one thing. It's called passion. Passion. And the passion is to help people. And I guess this is how I would start my story is that this is no different than how I started around four and a half, five years ago. Mm -hmm. When I was first diagnosed, uh, when I was first introduced to the water, surprisingly, I wasn't introduced to the water by a human being. I was introduced to the water by a dog. Yes, you heard it right, by a dog. I have personally seen and witnessed how a dog <clears throat> transformed from having cancer, last stage only weeks to live, to having, earning his life back in just three months and regaining his mobility, regaining his life, regaining his hair, put it that way. And, um, and the vet was super surprised. And during that three months when I was watching the dog, I was thinking, um, it was actually a dog of, by my aunt. My aunt got the machine only because she would like the dog to live, to stay with her. She, doesn't want, she didn't want the dog to go. So when I was there watching it, I was thinking to myself, geez, I wouldn't want anybody in my family, in particular my parents, to leave me early. Well, everybody need to live, uh, everybody need to die eventually, but we don't, I, I wouldn't want them to leave me early. I would like them to live as long as they can, healthily, with quality of life. This is what Robert Ray always said, quality of life, right? Mm -hmm. So 2013, I still remember, um, uh, that's when I decided to get a machine. Um, because all because of loving care, because I, I, I would like my, my family to have the best water possible. Because if our body is 75% water, it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense to actually have uh, the water change um, uh, with that. Anyways, I, di I, w I, didn't, I didn't have the knowledge I have right now back then. So I got the machine for them. And guess what? I was, uh, I was working in the fundraising industry. I was working for charity. I was, a I was a fundraising director. I didn't pay attention to myself. I didn't pay attention to what I was, I'm drinking. I didn't pay attention to how, how I live my life. Ladies and gentlemen, for, uh, for everyone who's who is hearing this message out there, Ask yourself, majority of the time, we try to help the people right next to us. We're trying to care for the people right next to us. And we always put ourselves as the last priority. And we always put ourselves um, caring and loving for ourselves as the last resource we have. And that's what I was um, back then. Um, less, uh, interesting part is that there's, I believe, the universe, God actually has got things planned out for us. So a year after I got my machine, I was diagnosed with salivary gland tumor. Um, I, I, I told everybody nowadays that that's a huge blessing because uh, for people who know out there, tumor is basically an early form of cancer. Um, if the tumor wasn't, a sli wasn't at my salivary gland, which is right here, it could be anywhere else in my body and I wouldn't be able to see it visually. Um, until probably when I feel a pain or under ultrasound or under some sort of like um, uh, doctor's report. 
um, uh, maybe maybe if it wasn't slippery gland, I wouldn't notice it until stage three, stage four. So I, I told people that it's a huge blessing because I was told I, I, my, my area in this area was popped up. It was swollen. So I just went for a casual check and I was told I have something called slippery gland tumor. Um, just like in any <clears throat> kind of tumor, it doesn't matter which stage, I was, uh, then I was given medication. It's called steroid. That little pill actually got me super weak to the point that uh, just in my third, fourth, fifth day, uh, I, I, I was so weak that I was lying on my bed. I, 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 don't, I didn't have the energy to move. And, um, and the point that I, I still remember day five, day six, I couldn't even control my pee. I was peeing on my bed. And I was thinking, geez, really? I'm only age 38 and I'm peeing on my bed? I thought that would only happen in our early stage of life or latest stage of life. Um, interesting thing was that I was working for charity, as I mentioned. I was actually working for old age home. So therefore, I have been seeing seniors, elderly, sending to our um, uh, institution, um, um, basically uh, being taken care of um, because they're in, in the later, later year of their life. So I was looking, at, looking outside. I still remember it should be a bright day, but I feel the sky was so gray and so dark. I was thinking, am I going to die like this? Am I going to, is it it? Is that it? Is, that, is this it? Am I going to be like this for the rest of my life? Like, JJ, you know what? Interesting is that like a lot of time, we never, we never really focus on ourselves. We rarely, rarely really pay attention to our lives until the moment um, the moment is, is there until the, the alarm is sound. So that exactly was the, my, my alarm clock. I, and, and then, and then, and then I, I was thinking, what, what could I do? What can I do? I thought that like doctors supposed to help us to the point that we can regain our energy and stuff like that. And I think all those things, right? And then recall, I've read the book called Killing Cancer Not People by Mr. Robert Wright. Um, if you, you've been to my, my, one of my seminars or when uh, was, was here joining us in our cancer prevention seminar, you would hear my story. He was actually the very first person <coughs> to give me the courage and empowerment to take otherwise option than our conventional medicine. I remember why I got my machine for my parents. I didn't recall it until that day with the gray sky lying on my bed, peeing on my bed. And I was thinking, okay, if that chapter six said that water works, why don't I just simply start to drink the water? Yes, I have machine. There's so many people out there got the machine, but rarely touch on the water for themselves. They do it for someone else. They forgot themselves. So that was a day, ironically, that was the day that I started to drink the water. I still remember one gallon a day. And after day three, I start to feel different. I start to feel re-energized. I was like, really? Water? Are you serious? Just the water? And actually, it, it, it makes me feel different. But because back then, I, I, I regained my energy. I regained my, my ability to, to move around and, and stuff like that because I wasn't tired at all. The water actually regained my energy. Um, and, and I started to do research. And I, then I, I, I read further and research further, further about electrolytes reduce the water research further about um, molecular hydrogen, research further about steroid. And then I realized that, whoa, it was that little pill steroid actually trying to deplete my system such that the, the tumor got, will, will get strength down, but it wasn't. And then I, I read more about it and I decided to take the protocol by Robert Ray and as well as reading the book on Enzyme Factory, decided to follow the lifestyle and enzyme and diet and stuff like that. Guys, water, the water would, didn't cure, cure me. The water didn't, wasn't just the water helped me, but the water was enabling me and empowering myself to actually regain, regain the control back, put it that way. And together with other components, by changing lifestyle, by changing food, by changing everything, that's when I, dis, I, 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 I give me enough courage to even skip the steroid. And I still remember three weeks later when I went back to the doctors that my tumor got strength down from five centimeters to three millimeters. Because I was trying to survive, okay? I was trying to survive. I, I didn't want my parents to see me go, put it that way. 
So, so I, I told the doctor about my experience. I told him that I skipped a steroid. The doctor didn't believe me, just like any other doctors out there. Guys, understand that. It's not that they don't want to believe us. It's just that they weren't educated about us, okay? In, if you ask any doctors, they, they, weren't, they didn't have a specific chapter on the updated information about water. They were, talk, they were being taught about water, but they were not being educated with the updated and latest information about water. So, so anyhow, I, I, I said, it's okay. I'm not going to argue with you, dog. Um, I'll continue doing what I do, I, I think. I, I, in, my think uh, I was, I was in my head, I was thinking. And, and anyways, long story short, nine months later, I went back to check up. Okay, I didn't take any medication, continue on my healthy lifestyle, continue on drinking the water. And guess what? Nine months later, the doctor said, through the report, said that I have viral cancer. And I was like, huh, really? I didn't see any difference. But you know what, self-education is super important. During that nine months, how it changed me is because I was educating myself with other alternatives. I understand that we shouldn't, when everything's happened, we shouldn't just listen to one source. We should do our own research and listen to multiple source, sources. So I decided to ask for second and third opinion, and I did. And what happened was that I still remember it was a one week way before I can see what the report said. During that week was, was, was the toughest time because I, I don't want to alert or alarm anybody what I was going through. It was so, you know, the panic attack thing and you wouldn't want to show it to everybody and you still need to continue on living your life and stuff like that. I get it, I understand it. I was there. And, 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 and the thing is that a, a, a week later, my second doctor told me that, and my third doctor both told me that the report was wrong. I didn't have something called thyroid cancer. It wasn't the case at all. Uh, my do one of the doctors even bats on said that I would, Christine, I would bet you with my 40 years of medical experience. I said, I can tell you that you don't have that. Okay, you don't have that. that, that but yeah, that doctor did tell me that no matter what, because your tumor is there, and whenever our email drops, whenever our metabolism drops, that tumor will become a time bomb. It may become a cancer eventually. So their suggestion to me is that remove the tumor. And there I did. Nine, another nine month wait. In the after surgery, 10 days after that, I asked the doctor, um, why would my scar be so long if the tumor is only three millimeters? Just out of curiosity. I wasn't even questioning anything that he did. He said, yeah. We remove, remove something like this big. I said, really? What is that? He said, I remove your whole salivary gland. I remove your whole salivary gland. I said, why? I thought you're just removing a tumor. He said, well, since I'm there, I might as well. Guys, understand that whenever, yes, whenever you're on a surgery plan, you wouldn't have a choice because you're already putting in the sleep, remember? And you signed a waiver. The doctor can make the final decision for you to decide to what to remove based on the educated choice. Understand that the doctor was doing me good. He didn't try to harm me at all, but he believed by removing the whole set, it will, would be a better protection. That's what he believed. But also understand that common sense. A lot of time we forgot our common logic and common sense, and we rarely put our common sense and common logic into practice. What happens is that if today you ask yourself, if you're driving outside, going on a highway, going on a tollway, and you realize that before you get on, before you start to start your car, you see that, hey, one of the screw on my left, left rear tire was gone. Are you going to still drive the car? Obviously not, because you don't want the car to fall apart and eventually get in an accident, right? How would losing a set of slightly gland different than that? We are a whole system, right? That was that day. It was that day I decided to, I told myself I need to do something otherwise than, rather than just serving one charity, one community. And I told myself that I need to do this energetic thing full time. And eventually, gradually, gradually, I move on to do, to, to be in full time energetic distributors. Mind you that I got my 6A when I was still a part time when I was still part-time. But, but this is my, my story why I decide, I dedicate my full-time uh, career to, 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 the energic, uh, to the energic company. And because I believe if today, if, if I would have understand fully what the water can do to me, if I didn't question, if I didn't question the otherwise, 
I wouldn't lose my salivary gland. I think I would choose something different. I, I think, I believe I would have better control of my life. Back then the doctor told me that losing a set of salivary gland, gland is not going to affect me. Obviously not. Whenever there's a change of season like this, I would have coughed to death. I would have, I, 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 would, I would have fever. I, I, I would have, whenever I'm speaking on stage for too long of duration, you'll hear me cough, you'll hear me talk because I don't have enough saliva. So that, that, that could be a little to you, but really when you experience it, you'll find that the little thing counts. This is exactly how we should take care of our health. It's just like, like today, if you want to be healthier, it shouldn't be just one thing that you did one day. It should be those little things that we pay attention and try to uh, be mindful about each and every day. This should be the theory of King and Water, and this is the theory of King and Water. And that's why I'm so grateful about what Mr. Oshiro did and do and still doing and will be doing that we're going to find out more in the 45th anniversary, uh, 45th anniversary convention. And that's why I'm so grateful that I, I, I do what I do because, uh, you know, JJ, you and I are no doctor. But, but the, truth, though, the truth is that you and I can give people hope and give people the otherwise option to take control of their health. The choice is still there, but at least there's an option for you out there for those one who need to hear this message, there's an option here out there, right here, just right to you, by just simply changing the water. If we understand that, let's, be, let's play, put our common sense on in our mind. If we understand that if we're 75% water, if today, if today we are able to change just 75% with a more effective option, with an option that can communicate, be communicate better with our body, why not? take the chance. If today you would take the chance with that little pill, if today you would take the chance with the keto diet, with all different diet that you're doing, if you, today you would take a chance of different supplement. Why not the water? By the way, it doesn't matter if you're taking quality food, be it organic, be it this, be it than that. You still need the water to carry the nutrient and supplement along to the body. Why not use the most um, you know, effective option and still out there? And I know that <clears throat> being in my profession as a water somali, we got, I got questioned quite often to the fact, fact that I should only be endorsing natural mineral water, okay? But really, um, uh, why would I also stand behind um, a filtration system, uh, be it a, a super expensive one, a $4,000 unit um, that, that it convert your tap water into something? Because I believe water is so crucial that we shouldn't just spend money on natural mineral water. And plus, because we don't have access to the most natural, natural mineral water nowadays. Because the majority of the time, for the quality ones out there, especially in the States or in Canada, it has been transferred to us from far, from, 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 from long, right? From a long time ago. It wasn't as fresh as what it intended to be. That's why, honestly, it's interesting, JJ. Um, there's a very famous water sommelier out there called Martin Riggs. He just, call, he just point, point to me again, second time in a row, um, on Kangen water as well. He lists the top five worst water, and Kangen water being number four. I said, really? You're comparing us with bottled water out there? You do you exactly know what it is? Only because this is a network marketing MLM industry? No, you have to understand that every single thing, every single industry out there is work based on the network marketing industry anyways. Correct? Yeah. And if you're trying, if people out there, you're trying, you got question out there uh, because this is a referral base and network marketing and stuff like that. Which business is not built based on network anyways? It's just, which is true, right? Human being is network, right? And even for those people who are trying to pitch on the sales or pitch on this and, and, and share that information, be good food or good brand out there, you use your social media and that's based on the network, isn't it? And that's network marketing, but it's just that the, the thing is that because the price is a little bit high for, for the energy machine, that's people question, but people would never question when they bought a Porsche, when they bought an iPhone, and those things couldn't save our lives. It give, our enjo it give us the enjoyment of lives, right? But these things can save our lives, but not just for one. You can only keep your Porsche to yourself. You can only drive, you can only get use the iPhone for yourself, but this thing is for your whole family. Or if you want, you can save the whole village out of it. And I, I, I personally, JJ, the reason I would, I, 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 I would always put my name behind energy machines because I did my own research. I, I actually put machines apart. 
and, and, and investigate different ionizers, different filtration, and understand fully how this thing works, which is called Canyon Water Energy Machine. It's quality, it's supreme quality. And I was talking to one of my friends, um, also one of the biggest inspiration, I believe, for the medic medical industry. His name is Ron Hex. He, he's not an energy distributor, but he, he used this water. And his wife is a distributor. He, taught, he told me, he, actually he invents medical device for surgery room. He said that, Christina, you know, I and my team, team of engineers and scientists, we test over 22 machines uh, from, from this company called Energy. We try to beat it and try to beat it so hard. We try to find if there's any loophole for this machine. Is it as good as it claimed? We couldn't find any loophole. And we couldn't find anything that it will fail. For the, for the competitor we're testing it on, they, they fail, but this machine didn't fail. And honestly, if today you will try to see, if for those one who want to captivate this industry and be a distributor, be a successful distributor, we have to understand this. If today you want to sell any medical device, if you don't have knowledge, if you don't have a license, I don't think you can utilize it to help anybody. And with being energetic distributors, we do not need to have any license. We do not need to have certification. We just need to have the dedication and passion and are willing to help. And that's it. And honestly, I wouldn't want to sell any other medical device, JJ, because any other medical device, if I see it at home, meaning that someone's sick. And yet with this water, can you water as our medical device? It's different. It's helping more people to get less sick to get more well. And, and I think this is the answer to, the, to, to our current water problem right now. It's not just for drinking water, but it's also for water application. And, and I truly believe that down the road in the next five, 10 years, this will be, will be the future of home appliance. Just no different. I'm, I mean, no different than another Nespresso machine. People pay so much money together with capsule on the Nespresso machine, and they still need to they still need to feed that Nespresso machine with capsules, this is, which is hurting the environment. Doesn't matter how you re, how we how 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 we how we, we recycle it. But still, with this machine, with Canyon Water Machine, we're not just giving us the best water. We're also helping the environment at the same time, and and which is so durable. That's why I believe um, my mission. Like I, I I've always tell people that my mission, my dedication is to help change people's option, give people a better option. You're right, um, we, we, uh, our, uh, we want to save the world, we want to change the world, but we cannot change the world and we cannot save the world just by you and I. We can only change and save the world one family at a time and together one feel a difference, they feel better, they share the love message, which is not just a water message. No one is trying to pitch you on the water. They are just trying to tell you that there's hope, there's love and care in this, in this industry, in our company, in our community, in the 9.5 tribes. Okay, and, 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 and the whole thing is that we, so far, if you're still in doubt about getting a machine like this, still question about the price, understand this. This company has been around for 45 years. We're celebrating our 45th year anniversary in four days, JJ. Simply 5,000 of us will be in San Diego and we're going to celebrate on that um, together because it's a, big, it's a big achievement. And people need to know that for any company, for any startup company, any startup company, Okay, any startup company. Basically, if they can survive three years, okay, only 10% of company can survive beyond three years for any startup. This company survived 45 years, not just in one country though. 23, 24, 25, 26, now going to 38 countries. Okay, but yes, serving around the world, even though we don't have the country, we serve them. We can ship a machine to South Africa. We can ship the machine to anywhere. We don't have the office because Water matters to everybody. Water matters to everybody. So I, I think if you still question about it, we have sold over 1.2 million units around the world, and which means that we have impact 1.2 family around the world. If we calculate a family's average of four, indeed for some of the countries, it's not family of four, family of six, family of eight, family of 10, be it. So we have literally have more than 4 million people. You still question it by what, and guess what? Our refund rate, our return rate is super, super, super low. I have sold over a thousand machines. I've got zero refund so far. People only got one complaint. They said, Christina, this water is so good. I couldn't live without it.
right? That's, that's the only thing we got question. Um, uh, my dream one day is that if Steve Jobs, day one, when he invented the iPhone, he believed one day, 10 years ago, in one of his, um, one, one of his delivery speech, he said, I hope that iPhone will be the only thing people reach out to when a house burned down on fire. Instead of reaching out to their wallet, instead of reaching out to the car key, he hoped that people would reach out to their iPhone to leave the house, which is the case right now, 10 years, huh? And I believe, I hope that my, I, I, my dream is that people will reach out to the Kangen machine if they have to leave the house in case it burned down. By the way, our machine is fireproof in case you're wondering. Okay, yeah. we've seen that on the industry. But anyways, I, because what is so crucial. So I, I, I believe this will happen in the, in the next five, 10 years based on living testimonial. JJ, you're in, you're in <coughs> what we do is because a testimonial, correct? So, so now going back to you, this is my story. I hope that, uh, I hope that it will give you a little bit of empowering insight for those one who's in the field out there. Yeah, I, I love your story. I think, uh, in fact, you've got the most interesting story as far as how you, how you learned about the, the, the water with uh, learning about it from a dog. That's just classic. I love it. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things that's so cool about being able to do this show is we get, we get so many interesting people, so many interesting stories. And, and the thing about me is I, I was a tremendous skeptic of this water. I thought it was the stupidest thing on the planet. I was watching my buddy, Tim McGaffin post about it every day. And I, I never said anything because I didn't know anything. I just thought it was stupid. And I'd give him likes and move on and laugh to myself. And then one day, Brittany Dykes put out her story and that story changed the course and direction of my life forever. And that's why I created the Kong Family Show is because I wanted to be able to share stories because I believe that that some, a lot of times, you know, there's an old saying in network marketing that says that facts tell and stories sell. And so because of the fact that it was a story that affected me so much, I decided that I wanted to go on a journey of trying to share stories out every day from real people, from their hearts. Uh, and that's part of the reason why we don't do any editing with this show. It's just right from the heart, right off the cuff, uh, right from our souls. And and I think that that's something that's important. I know it's important to me just to keep it, keep it real. And, um, you know, one of, the, one of the things that we always have to make sure we keep, uh, um, you know, we always reiterate this here on the show um, because of this next question that's going to come up to you. Uh, I want people to understand that this water is not a cure for anything. It's not a miracle. It's not magic. Um, the miracle and the magic and the cure is right here. This thing right here, this, this machine right here, this is the miracle. This is the magic. This is the, the most amazing machine on planet Earth. And, you know, this was given to us by God, by our creator, whoever you want to credit for it, that's fine with me. But this machine will do amazing things when it gets what it needs. That's what the Enagic Kangen water machine is, is that it is simply a tool that the human body can use to become its own mechanic and go ahead and fix itself. And it happens over and over and over and over and over again. And it's literally par for the course. And, and so, you know, I want to, I want to always ask people these, these questions. And, but before I ask you this question, Christine, I wanted to point something out to people that are going to be watching this as time goes by. And then people that are watching now, um, people talk about this water machine as if it's expensive. Well, I met a guy who's had his machine for 35 years. He told me it still works just as good today as it worked 35 years ago when I smuggled it into the United States from Japan. And so if you take a look at these machines and how long they last and how long, how the way they're built and how long they last, they really don't, they don't cost anything. They are so cheap. And I, I actually tell people all the time, hey, Kong doesn't cost, he pays, <laughs> you know, because he does. I, I mean, I've had this machine save me so much money over the last two and a half years that, you know, it paid for itself outright in full between commissions and, and money saved. Within a year, my machine was paid off in full. And now, now it's just making me money. It's not costing me a dime. And so these people who are 
who are calling it too expensive, they're just not looking at it. And, and like my buddy Sean always says, you're already paying the money for this thing. You're just not getting the benefits. And so I wanted to let people know that because you touched on, on the machine being too expensive from a lot of people think that, and you know, they think that because they're not thinking. And, you know, and so with all that, I wanted to ask you on this, this next thing that, you know, cause of stories, I'm curious to know if you, um, you know, oh, another thing, how long have you been involved with Kong and water, by the way? How long? I got my machine 2013 and, and, and uh, I started to work on the business full time 2016. Okay. So you've been drinking the water for about six years and you've been doing it as five a years, five, five years, because five. I didn't really touch on the machine for the first year until I was sick. Okay. So, cool. Five years. So yep. I imagine in that period of time, well, you know, you were probably, even though before you started your, it looks like you've got a store there up in Canada, which is, you know, I commend you for that. That is awesome. And um, the, I'd imagine that from the, from the beginning, you probably started wearing the water with people. You probably, uh, you know, whatever. But I'd imagine that the amount of time you've been in this business, that you've ran into some pretty amazing stories where people made the wise choice to give their body the main tool that it needed so it could become its own mechanic. And then when that happens, amazing things happen, um, both on the side of physical health and also on the side of mental health and, and uh, financial health. And I'm wondering if you have any stories that have really stood out to you over the years that, that really touched your heart that, that you would like to share with the family, because we never know whose story is going to resonate with who. And so that's why my goal here is to always try to share some, some incredible stories. Like just the fact that you had, you learned about this water from a dog is classic. I love that story. That's fantastic. Yeah, but what other, what other things do, do you have anything that you wouldn't mind dropping on the family that, that might really turn somebody's life around just from hearing it going, wow, holy moly, maybe I should look a little closer at this. Um, <clears throat> tons. I'm trying to, you know, when you ask me this question, the, 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 the thing is that because I have tons of story, I'm trying to figure out what would the people want to know, right? But, but okay, one of the classic is this. Um, I have two stories. One is for health. Let's talk about health and the other one we'll talk about wealth, okay? The, um, a lot of time, we, I, we, you, you brought Robert Ray to the stage, um, to the show, is because you believe this water is so crucial for cancer prevention or even fighting any disease called cancer. First of all, guys, understand this. Doesn't matter what kind of disease it is, it's just label. As um, I fully agree, as JJ mentioned, basically if we're able to work on the immunity uh, 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 to our body, if the water can help us to boost our metabolism, we're able to, to, to recoup and recontrol our health. So one of the classic stories that I, we, I know that people out there uh, whenever they have can they have cancer majority of the people we do chemotherapy or radiation put it that way one of the class of the classic is that um i didn't know it until it happened after it happened basically one of my my client asked me to ship the kh to to them to china uh in an urgency i'm talking about around four years ago um <clears throat> three and a half years ago i said okay i would do my best right this is what we are supposed to do right whenever our and our, 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 our client have problem, we try to resolve it for them. So I did that. And then a month later, I, I, I follow up with the client. I said, why is it in such a rush that you need to get it immediately? Less than I know. And then I realized that it was his 65 years old mom was actually diagnosed with cancer and they just finished removal surgery a month ago. And, and they, they, he need to, she needed to put in chemo. And and that's why he need the water right away, okay? He need the water right away, such that the mother can have enough hydration, enough hydration to regenerate the cells. Because guys, understand that we are trillions of cells, be 70 to 100, or even you said 37, doesn't matter, it's trillions of it. Each of the cells is 90.5% water. And our cells is very particular to what kind of water you drink. And our Kangen water, electrolyzed reducer water, is actually 
having the preferable, preferable molecular structure our cells prefer. Very simple. So anyways, what happens was that that old lady, not old, too old, 65 year old lady was consuming our water <coughs> during the chemotherapy. A month later, what was found out is that this lady didn't lose any piece of hair, okay? Didn't lose any weight because at the same time when, he was, when she was drinking the water, the sun also gave her the last necessary nutrients she need. And our water being the best carrier and it's doing the work. And not just lo not, not losing any weight, but regaining 15 pounds after the chemotherapy, which is unheard of. But at the same time, the interesting thing is that same day, same hospital, a 25-year-old girl went through the same thing, didn't have the water next to the bed in the same room. The girl, a month later, was having, losing, was losing weight, was losing hair, was drying out the skins. So I think this <clears throat> give me even a further empowerment and further encouragement to do what I do. Because I think, okay, doesn't matter if you're doing chemo radiation, that's your choice. But at least understand that those, all, all of those medication is actually trying to help us to detect the best cells, but they are not able to detect the best cell 100%, so they're going to kill the good cells as well. But be it, be our, we're having our cane water, we, we're able to do better cellular regeneration to carry better nutrients around us. And, and I, think, I, think, I think this is why it, it makes our, our, <clears throat> our, 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 our job or our passion or our journey way more interesting because we're giving people hope. And our, the hope is, does not just limit to health, okay? The hope, obviously, if you don't have health, you cannot do anything well, put it that way. It also gives hope to, to financial situation for people, okay? Yes, the machine is not cheap, and it's not supposed to be cheap. It's this quality, and you expect them, you expect enough to chip out to build a machine that sells you at the uh, to your budget, I wouldn't even go for this machine. I wouldn't even put my name after this machine if Mr. Shrew decided to do that because that's not right, right? And, <clears throat> and honestly, the machine never raised the price in the past 12 years since it was first released in US, right? The price is, the SD501 is still the same old price 13, uh, 12, 13 years ago, if you ask around. It's still the same price. But the thing is that like, it also gives us an option. We share things with people all the time, be it an iPhone app, be it a smartphone, be it a recipe, be it a good restaurant. But it's just that often we won't get paid by sharing you know, the referral. And, 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 and the beauty of this company is that like, whenever you own a machine, you also own a right to share with a referral fee, referral bonus. Well, by all means, I always tell people, tell people whenever I do my presentation, I said, you can choose not to activate it. You can choose not even to take the money. It's okay. Just give the money to me. I'll help you donate to your charity to do better to the world. Pay it forward, guys. But the thing is that the program's in place the day that you got the machine. You can choose to activate it 10 years later. You can choose to activate it 20 years later. Who cares, right? And... <clears throat> One of the stories is this. one of my friend, um, one of my friend who actually owned the machine 10 years ago, okay, 10 years ago, and has been using the water all because of his son, her son, her son was actually having mentally uh, challenged, okay, um, 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 and, and actually the water helped the son so much that um, he's an architect now, okay, and, and very talented artist guy. Uh, anyhow, he, she didn't think of doing the business at all until 10 years later today, right? And, and, and the whole thing, the reason that she, she wanted to do it is because her son wants to study further. Um, and that needs money. And, and she, with her, he, she's actually a Chinese practitioner, Chinese health practitioner. And then what she said, she thought that, hey, you know what? If this can help, might as well help my client, help my son, I would do that. And just within a year's time, she become a 6A. And I think <clears throat> this is not just money. This is just making someone's dream come true. 
It's making a, a family stream come true, right? It's making a family stream come true. Day in, day out, we spend so much on things. <clears throat> if today, living in the current world, if you don't have multiple streams of income, I don't think you're doing, you're serving yourself right. Because there's a lot of what if out there. Even though you have a high paying job, how will you know? What if economy go down for? What if politi pol politics go down for? Your company is not, would, is not existing anymore a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. What else do you have hold on? But at the same time, while you're having this energy opportunity because you already got the machine anyways, by sharing the water and doing the side hustle and building it gradually. I think that is a, another blessing that we were given, not just by God, but also by Mr. Osuro. And because you can choose to activate this anytime, it doesn't cost you anything to activate it. And, and I know, I know, I know it's not easy. It's because people are calling us crazy to sell this so-called $4,000, $5,000 unit. But people will thank you once they got it on the countertop. People will thank you. A family, a young family coming to me because the husband was working so hard to, to get money, to get food on the table. And end up, yes, the, 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 the husband do have a high paying job. End up, the, the, the husband was suffering with, with disease on, on, the, on the gut and couldn't absorb any nutrients. And guess what? The husband was actually having, having, um, having four children, four young children. The oldest one is only six years old. Okay, with the wife. What can the wife do? The wife, that's why back the husband to let her purchase this machine for him. And that's another life saving story, right? And, and, and I don't know this person. It's just that we met this person in the show, you know? So, so you know what? Don't give up. I have my moments of that I want to quit. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to give, I don't want to, um, I don't want to exist in this energy company anymore. I, I did. I had that moment. Not just one time, twice, okay? And because the people around me, I thought I have hope for my team and, and, and I thought that we're gonna build this together. And now people have otherwise options. People think otherwise. But understand that we are doing this for ourselves. We're doing this for the world. We're doing this for the community. Don't give up because other people make other choices, right? And, and this company and this business and this machine or this opportunity will always be here for you. If we're willing to take it, we are willing to grab it. And, and, and that actually, that's, that, 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 that's why I love I love what I do so much because it's not just a hope for health, but it's also a hope for a dream come true. Like, like the thing is that this, the money that you will be able to earn, the family you're going to help, or in particular the money that you're able to earn, is able to help us to, to achieve, to hit the dream, your ultimate dream way quicker than you wait. And I think that's why I believe this is so rewarding. This can change the world. And um, that's why I love our motto, I love our, 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 our slogan, change your water, change your life so much, because which is the truth, 100% truth, JJ. And, and, I, and, and, I, and, I, and I kudos to what you do every day by sharing the story to, to people around us, because as you said, story sells, yeah. right? And we're not trying to sell you anything. We're just trying to sell you with the story to give yourself a better option to live lives, to, to give your, yourself and your family an option to control your health and your life in the way that you want it, in the way that how our creator, our God, uh, our Buddha, whatever religion they have, designed it for us. And we do to take control back of our health in what the nature was designed for us to be. Because this is just, Mr. Oshru didn't de design this water, as, as Robert Ray said, Mr. Oshru didn't design this water. God did, right? We're just trying to mill it or trying to replicate what God did for us, right? So, so this, yeah, that's why I love this so much. Yeah, yeah you and me both. I, you, know, you know what's interesting about this, Christina, for me, is that I've, I've been called every name in the book over the last two, two and a half years by mostly my family members, um, family members and friends. Um, they all think I'm nuts. But the truth of the matter is, I don't care. I, I love what Sam Tran said. He said, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just trying to save your life. And he says, I can't, I can't care more for your health than you do. 
if you don't care about your health, there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can, and, I, and you know, it was hard in the beginning because I have a lot of family members and friends who desperately need this water. And it is absolutely heartbreaking to me that they won't look, that they won't pay attention because the value, they're not looking at the value. They're just thinking to themselves, it's a scam and they don't even, they won't even look. And it's so crazy. And, you know, things like, like what, what you went through with the doctor just arbitrarily deciding to cut out a perfectly good salivary gland. That's just insane. I would have been, I would have been going through the ceiling over something like that, you know, because, and that's what bothers me so much. Every, ever since 1993, when I read the book World Without Cancer, that book changed the course of my life because it made me start thinking on a proactive uh, direction about my health. You know, I was 27 years old and I was, I was, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm indestructible. I don't need to worry about anything. You know, I'm superhuman and all that kind of stuff. And after reading that book, I realized, holy moly, I'm not superhuman. I'm not indestructible. And, and there's a heck of a situation going on out there. And my mother, you know, she's one of my driving forces. She died back in 1990. And she was kind of like Dr. Barry Ah. She was born sick. Um, she had a sixth grade education because she couldn't stay healthy long enough to make it through a year of school. And the doctors, their thing was always to cut this out, cut that out. And she had scars all over her body. And, and she was on 22 different medications when she died. And they, they poisoned her. her or what happened is that she developed a cyst on the backside of one of her kidneys that ended up popping and poisoning her spinal fluid and turning her into a vegetable in four days. But the point was, is that the doctors never knew what was wrong with her. And their, and their deal was always to just slice and dice and, and hand out pills and bills. And, and the thing is, is that, you know, they think they're better than God. They think they have a better solution than, their, than our creator, you know? And it's like, you've got a perfectly good salivary gland and, oh, I think I'll just go ahead and slice that out while I'm here, you know? And it's just unbelievable. That kind of stuff just absolutely drives me nuts. And, and it's part of the reason why ever since I got involved with Kong and Water, I made the decision to get involved and I didn't want anything to do with the business. But then once I started feeling the effects of the water and then I, I started learning about the water, I was like, oh my Lord, I have got to share this water with the world. I've got to. And, and I have never for one second had a thought of, I don't want to do this anymore. No, I actually wake up every morning going, hooty hoo, whose life do I get to change today, baby? You know, that's the way I look at it. And it is by far and away the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. There's absolutely nothing better than having somebody call you up crying, thanking you for changing their life. And, and so it, it is powerful in that regard. And, and, you know, being able to come on here and have this, this format to be able to get to meet with incredible angels like yourself and hear your stories and then share these stories out with, with other people. And, you know, when, when someone's going through a similar situation, I can go here, watch this, watch this video and, and meet this young lady. Um, you know, it's, it's tremendous and, and it is life changing. And, you know, Mr. Oshiro says, change your water, change your life. He doesn't say change your water, change your job, change your water, change your car, change your water, change your house, change your water, change where you live. No, it's change your water, change your life because that's what it does. It changes your life. And, and, you know, so you're a perfect example of somebody whose life has been drastically changed by this company. And so am I, and so is Roger, and so are most of the people that are watching here on the live feed on, on the Khan family page. And so, yeah, you know, it is, it is truly a life-changing experience. And, and so, you know, we're on a constant battle and a mission to share this water with the world and change the world one life and one family and, you know, one glass of 9.5 at a time, right? One lightning bolt in the box. And, uh, you know, I, I love to ask this next question to people uh, that come on the show. Um, you've got somebody that is potentially interested in Kong and water. 
or maybe they don't even know anything about it. And you've got one chance, you got one thing you get to say to them, and you don't have much time. You've got a little bit of time. You don't really have, you know, you don't have time to go through anything real, real heavy or real extensive or anything. What is that one thing that you say to people or that you would say to somebody and if you were in that situation, which you probably have been before? So, you know, what, what's the one thing that, that is most important to you that you would that you would fire at somebody when you're in that situation? I don't know. Um, um, I, 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 I'm not sure because the reason I say I'm not sure is because I've learned that is, um, I think, I think, I think I won't fire any word to anybody like, uh, like in a straight because I won't understand the person's first. A lot of time when we are trying to, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Hold on. Someone just coin. A lot of time when we're trying to, when we're trying to win, a, when we're trying to pitch a sales or pitch a, pitch a, um, a peak of interest, majority of the time when we're doing that, um, uh, I, I experienced this and, and I, we got rejection all the time. Right, because they don't get what we, we what, what what we think. But because the crucial, crucial, crucial thing is that um, we never try to understand what the person needs. Right. So instead of uh, instead of saying one thing to pitch them the interest, I think it's very important to be friend with the person, understand what the problem is. We are no god, but we could provide a solution. Right. Not just because of the water, because of network that we know. We're trying to help someone. We're trying to help someone such that they believe in what we believe. And uh, when they believe in what we believe, then, then they, they eventually they, they, will, they will understand why we do what we do because it's so, it's, honestly, JJ, you said your family was rejecting what you're doing. My family still do. I'm talking about still do. My siblings don't believe in the water. Okay. And, and I thought that this is crazy. A few thousand dollars, you know, are you serious? And stuff like that, right? And 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 it's okay. They came in a they 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 do all this thing for good reasons because they want to protect me because they love me they care about me. They don't want <coughs> they don't want me to get hurt. I get it. But really, I think it's very important is that like we instead of trying to pick the interest of someone, is that I I would try to be friend with the person. Um, and, and understand the problem. But if you really want to be aligned to, want to start the conversation up such that, such that the person would, you need, would continue to talk to you, I usually, I usually say, hmm, I think you are dehydrated. The person, <coughs> the person would say, really? I say, yeah. How do you know? I just know, right? And the way for responses, how I would usually start the conversation if I need to, but you, usually I would try to, <coughs> I'm sorry, I would try to um, understand the problem first before anything. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that one of, that's one of my favorite questions to ask people, quite frankly, because I always get a different reply from people. It's always, it's always different. We've had a few people who have said, you know, virtually that thing, that same thing. Hey, I, I don't know what I would ask because I need to find out what they need first. And once I find out what they need, then I'll go ahead and, and you know, hit them with this, that, or the other that, that fits with what they need. And, you know, that's a, that's a wonderful thing. And one of the reasons I like to ask that question is because I always learn something from it. And, you know, we, we, when we first get involved with this, we're so passionate that we just want to go and, and throw up on people. Wow, you know, I got to tell you about going in water, you know, you got to have this water, you know. And, and so as I have gotten better from learning from people like yourself and Sam Tran and, you know, like yesterday, Tamia was on the show and wow, that was, that was an incredible, um, a, an incredible episode of the show, you know, <laughs> and, and yeah, every time I get to learn something and, and, and that's why I love people like you who are willing to take your time and your energy, you know, you're missing the big parade right now so you can share with the Kong family. And I, I just so appreciate that, but we're trying to teach people. We're trying to, trying to help people learn what this is all about. And, 
and we can always keep learning. And, you know, one of the things I always say is one, one of my goals every day is to learn something new. Every day I need to learn something new because I don't know everything. I, I, I don't even, I don't even, not even close, baby. I got lots and lots and lots to learn. And, and I'm so blessed and grateful that I, I get to have people like you on the show all, you know, most every day. And every single day I get to learn something new and, and it's really an incredible blessing. And then I, and then I also get to turn around and share this out with, uh, with other people. And this is how we're going to, we are going to rock the world. We are going to change the world. It is happening every single day. We get to, we get to watch it through this platform of Facebook and seeing our fellow Kong family members out there doing this. And, and just in case you're curious why I call it Kong's water, because it's pronounced Kongan. And uh, I, I immediately, for some reason, I got, I got to thinking about that gorilla. I got to thinking about him, you know? And so I was like, how do you think that gorilla got so big? He was out there in the jungle drinking Kong's water from the base of the waterfall. And um, so I always have to have fun with things as well as, you know, even really serious stuff. I like to, I like to try and add humor to everything that I do because I, I firmly believe if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. And so I really, I really try hard to do that. And, you know, I, one of the, the other aspects of this show that are a big, that are, that's really dear to my heart is that I'm trying to unite people because we just never know who is going to resonate with who. Because somebody might think I'm just crazy as a loon and they don't want to work with me. They don't want to do anything with me. But, you know, they meet Christina Lee and they might be going, wow, this lady, I got to meet her. I want to work with her. I want to get a con machine from her and go to work. And, and so at the, you know, towards the end of each and every one of these shows, I like to give the guests the opportunity to share whatever information they would like to with the people who are watching this, both on the live feeds and also who are going to see the the YouTube recording that will that will get posted up on the Kong Family Show YouTube channel, and I'll send you a link to that once it's up, so that you can feel free to share it out to your heart's content if you would like. Um, and before I ask you to share whatever information you would like, and keep in mind this information is completely up to you. You can share it or not. You don't have to share anything if you don't want to. That's totally up to you. But to the people out there listening, if Christina gives out a Facebook page or something like that, if you're going to send her a friend request, please have the common courtesy to tell her why. You send that friend request, then you hit the message button and you say, hey, Christina, I saw you on that, uh, that show with uh, that crazy loon, JJ, and, uh, and I, wanna, I wanted to send you a friend request. And just tell her why and how you met her, just so that because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on out there on Facebook. And, and so anyway, with that said, Christina, what, uh, what kind of con contact info or, or information, you know, would you like to get information about your store? Um, whatever, feel free to give out whatever information you want, honey, and uh, let our people know how they can get all of you if they want to. Okay. You know, JJ, the, the con man. Okay. Um, first of all, let me thank you for doing what you do. And I think it's very important that, uh, that you, 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 you're willing to dedicate your time, you know, once a day to do this with dedication and perseverance for the family. It's not just for yourself. Um, I, I think I, 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 I highly respect on that. It's not easy, guys, for, for, for spare a time uh, contacting the interviewer to do this every day uh, to put a show on. I think everyone, if you're listening this message, you should actually share this out such that more people can hear the story. <coughs> Share the YouTube out. Guys, okay, I, 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 came from, I came from the same part and the same thought as you, JJ. So instead of sharing my, 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 Kangen, my Kangen contact, let me share one thing with you. I actually built two websites for the, for the community. For the, whoever that want to use it, feel free to use it. It's not just for my team, it's for everybody. You can drop it down. It's www dot number nine point p o i n t number five dot c a. 
www.9.5.ca. Okay, I guess everybody in the in the in the Kangen family should know what that means, right? So basically, that's a video library that I put together, and with some listing of uh, the restaurant who use Kangen water in Canada. It's a video library that I put together. The reason that I put that library together is because um, a majority of time when we try to share our YouTube uh, link out to people. We were usually that route, uh, we were usually route to some other recommendated re recommendation video and which may link to our competitor's video and video that's not 100% correct. And it's, sometimes it's hard to find. So that's why I, uh, last year I had this idea and we, we created this video library that people can just go on it and you can find ERW demo from different presenters that I is those thing I believe is high value. And you'll find the doctor's testimonial video. You'll find a craftsmanship video there. You'll find our, our you know, compensation plan, how a business work, and even some motivational video I personally preferred. And, um, and you know, utilize it, share with people, free of charge. I, I don't intend to take it down. I don't intend to close it down. I don't intend to charge anybody but money. I just hope that people can, can enjoy it. Another thing that I did last year was that I, I also uh, wrote it out to another website. It's called 9.5shop.ca. So it's basically the same. Number nine, P-O-I-N-T. Number five, S-H-O-P.ca. Um, <clears throat> one of my background, as I being a water sommelier currently, um, I was running my own family business, as I mentioned, for 15 years. I was in the food and beverage industry. But before that, I was in advertising and marketing. And, and, and I've realized that there are not too much branded materials out there that would help you to sell, um, to, to do the sales or to do the talking. So what I did is that yeah, last year I put together with uh, 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 a team, I put, I put together a team and, and helped me to design a few new products that can help people to actually do the sale for you. Um, I believe, guys, you can, you can quote and quote beyond this. I believe the biggest sales for you, the biggest things for you to help to sell the machine is not just a 9.5. Start to focus on a 11.5 and 2.5, okay? Those two things itself will help us to sell tons of machine. And, and, and be it like in that 9.5 shop.ca that we built together, uh, where we're fortunate that uh, Tamia update her health and wealth book, uh, which I think everybody need to own. Um, is a, a book that is actually eight pages long that you can bring it to the demo around uh, uh, anywhere you want and give it to people that we, we have her to redesign it. We, we published it last year. Uh, you can get it on it. And uh, Antonina, who is a very good friend of mine, and I think uh, Jay, JJ, you should get her on the show. Antonina Virchenko, a preventive disease educator. Um, I, last year when I did an event uh, with her, uh, with uh, Dr. Filsa, with Tamia, um, she helped us to dissect Hydrogen. She's our very own hydrogen expert. So last year, she, put, she and I put together a workbook, <clears throat> a little workbook that's basically an iPad size. It's a presentation book. Um, it's, we did it from scratch. Um, so therefore, you can use it. We purposely didn't brand a Najik on the cover. We purposely brand it in such a way, so generic that people would use it, people would take it out. It's so nice that people would just flip it. Oh, okay, this is nice, and start to educate themselves. And, um, and, and obviously, the fourth edition, Killing Cancer, not people who can find on our website, and some other good stuff um, that, that you have never seen before, they can find it on it. Um, you know, JJ, I, I respect to what you do. Uh, let me do something for you, for your community. So for whoever that got, get on the 9.5.ca, I'm going to create a promo code for you guys. Uh, if you just simply use Kong, K-O-N-G, I'll give you 10% off. Okay, that, that's what I can do for you guys, okay? Um, and and KONG, I'm going to do it uh, after we finish this. Um, and uh, you can you go on to 9.5.ca and just hit on KONG and you'll get 10% off. And we ship anywhere around the world. And I hope that that can help everybody to get the tools that you need and well-branded and, <clears throat> and, you know, uh, with access, just a click and, 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 and you know, uh, make your job easier uh, because I know that it's not easy if you're one of the business builders. It's not easy. And sometimes you need different materials to help you to, to you know, uh, uh, amplify your message. And I think the thing that we created will help. And we also have one of the things that I love so much is a usage label they can put on your machine. And, you know, majority of the time we try to share with people how to use the machine and obviously, obviously they will forget 
gray after a short period of time, how about give them, give them usage labels actually they can put on the machine or right next to them, reminding them what's on the top host, what's on the bottom host, right? So those are the things that we created at a very, very reasonable price. By the way, you're in the US, we charge Canadian price, Canadian dollars. Take advantage of the exchange rate, guys. So if I, if I need to share things with you, it's 9.5.ca, 9.5shop.ca. If you want to find me, um, you can, you can, if you want more water information, be, by all means, you can come to my website. On my website, we don't sell Kenyan water on my website. It's my personal website, watersomalier.ca, um, W-A-T-E-R-S-O-M-M-D-L-I-E-R.ca, in which I talk about different bottled water, the water industry. I talk about uh, different filtration, why I believe energy is the best of the best. I talk about the water problem right now, why we need to pay for it and do what we do. Okay, I hope those websites will be resourceful, resourceful for you all. Your last website that you just <clears throat> talked about, what we say that slower again so I can write sure. that down. Sure, sorry. Water Sommelier, S at www.watersommelier.ca. S O M M E L I E R. E L I E R. Dossier. S O M M E L I E R. It's just my, uh, it's just my title, the Water Sommelier, uh, because um, I got my destination as Water Sommelier two and a half years ago from Germany. It's only because I got challenged by another Water Sommelier who still continue, continue challenging what I do, saying that Kenyan water is a gimmick. So I said, damn, I need to be at the same level as you get the same destination. I understand, do you really understand Kenyan water? That's why I went to Germany, fly all the way to, uh, to, to got my water sommelier destination. And um, <clears throat> that, that's what the website is based on. And so far, I'm the only one in Canada right now. Uh, it, 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 actually, it actually, the extra knowledge I got actually wowed me so much. And that's why I believe um, Kenyan water will be something that can help more people in the world. Yeah, amen. This is going to be the this is going to be the microwave oven of 1967. The only difference is, is this is actually good for you. <laughs> and microwave is not good for you. It's exactly. killing you. It's killing the world. It's killing our brain cells, guys. In case you're using it, and I don't use, I didn't use it 10, 15 years ago. Later, uh, 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 ago already. Skip it. Yeah. Amen. I, you know, we have a microwave oven here in the house, but we hardly ever use it for anything. About I, I was talking the other day, I use my microwave oven now for, for basically two things. I use it to melt butter real quick and to heat syrup up real quick. And no, you don't it. do that. Those two things <clears throat> aren't necessarily even that great for you to start with. You, use double um, boiler, it's better. Yeah, that's use probably the better way to go. I probably should yeah. even stop using the microwave for that. But yeah, we don't yeah. use it for much of anything anymore. We used to use the microwave oven a lot, but now mm -hmm. we found out how bad it is. And, you know, that's the way people need to be, really, if they have any brains. They need to, you know, when they find out that something is not good for them or whatever, they really should, should try to get rid of it. But it's amazing how people don't seem to care sometimes. And, you know, that's where our love and compassion can come into, into play by you know, helping them understand that maybe they might want to start thinking a little bit differently. And that's one of the neat things that I've, you know, this, this company has been so incredibly life-changing for me, not only with my health um, and not even so much with my financials, but with my mindset and my thought processes, they've changed drastically because of the people that I've met, the incredible people like you, and, and my buddy, Sean, and, and, you know, Tamia, and Sam Tran, and Dan Edlund, and, and all these, just all these incredible people that I've had the, the, the benefit of knowing and, and, and getting to know and, and continuing to interact with. It's, it's absolutely life-changing, and that's why I'm so adamant about it. That's why I have this mission. That's why I take the time that I take to do what I do, um, and it's, it's not work. It's, it's not a job. It's, it's a, it's a mission. It's a passion. And you, you know, they say, if you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And, and so that for me, that's the blessing that I have that I want to try and pass on to others is that I, I haven't in two and a half years, I haven't worked at all. <laughs> this isn't work. 
this is fun. This is excitement. This is, this is learning. This is, is, uh, you know, something that I can be incredibly grateful for. And, um, you know, getting to meet people like you is, is just an incredible blessing, honey. And I really appreciate you taking your time. Um, and, and I wanted to ask you if you, if you wanted to, to share, because you're in a water store, you've got a water store up there somewhere in Canada, and it, it would seem to me that it would be a good idea for you to share where you are and let people know how they can get to your water store, how they can contact your water store, because they might want to come up and get some stuff from you. They might want to come up and, and utilize your water store for something or another. Um, how do they get a hold of you up there? Sure. Um, um, my store is located in, <clears throat> in Macam. Um, basically, you can, let me see. You know, reach out to me and I'll give you the address. Um, and because it's actually in North Toronto. That's where, where we're located. It's not a, a huge store, but it's uh, good enough to serve people. We have two machines here that we give our water day in, day out. And um, if people want to buy extra be it's but I think the most important is that the people have access to the water that they need. Yeah, awesome. And um, so, so the, you can Facebook message me or contact me um, via email. I think that's the easiest way, right, JJ? Um, via email, and my email is very simple. Um, you can contact me through the personal email. I'll text it to you, so you can include it in the YouTube, uh, JJ. It's basically Somali at watersomali.ca. So it's very simple. That's, that's my email. I'll, I'll text it to you after work. Okay. okay. So yeah. great. So if you guys feel free to, you have prospect, you want water in the Matcom area, feel free to find us. We're more than happy to share with them as well. Share the knowledge. Um, we open five days a week. So, so basically each day we have trained um, distributors uh, who, will, who will be here to volunteer their time to, to help us to serve the people serve the community no don't worry about it when you send people to us we are not going to take your sales because this is what how this is not what our family is about it's all about sharing and caring how we can help each other out okay yeah so what uh, what's the address of your sh- of your store sure 290 290 york tech drive y-o-r-o-k-t-e-c-h and unit 20 is in Montcom. And the store uh, name is Kangan Water Wellness Center. Because I want to, I want to promote your store. Sure. Just because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> nice. I like Thank to you. promote the the guests that come on this show that take their time to come on here. I want to promote them. I want them. I want people to know how to get a hold of them. I want. Thank you. Do you by chance have a, a phone number for your store that you would like to give out? Sure. You can call uh, 905-604-8298. 8298. Okay. Well, there you have it. You've got the phone number. you got the address. I'm going to go ahead and when I get this on the YouTube channel, I'm going to put your information up there sure. on, the, Thank you. on the description so that everybody can, um, you know, as this is going to be out there for as long as this is available, as long as the internet's out there, once it goes up onto the YouTube channel, it's going to be there forevermore. And people are going to be watching it for days, months, weeks, and years to come. And uh, we just never know whose life we're going to change, whose life we're going to touch. And so my goal is to just put it out there and see what happens. Let the, let the chips fall where they may. Um, You know, I always say I've, I've probably sold more machines for other people than I have for myself. And the truth is, that's fine with me because my thing is, is I just want people to get this water machine and I really don't care whether they get it from me or they get it from you or they get it from Timbuktu. I don't care where they get it from. Just get it. You know, I had somebody come to my house and got got water from me for a couple of weeks and then ended up getting mad at my upline and buying a machine from someone else. And I said, well, fantastic. I'm glad you got your machine. Sure, that would have been great if you'd have bought it from me. But the truth is, you bought one and that's good. So if you ever need any help, I'm here. And if there's anything I can ever do, if you have anybody up here in my area that needs water, let me know. I'll hook them up with all the water they want. If they just come get it and then I'll send them to buy, buy their machine from you because ultimately I happen to understand the laws of attraction and the laws of the laws of love and helping other people. And, and it all, you know, what comes around goes around, but there's going to be plenty of people out there. that are going to want to buy their machine from me. And so that's fine. I'm not mm. concerned in that department. I just want to 
I just want to change the world. Um, you know, I'm just like Dr. Barry Ah. I just want to change the world. It's a really simple goal. It's no problem. We're, we got it. We're doing this. And so, you know, thankfully we have people like you that are willing to come and share their incredible stories and give of their valuable time. Um, you know, people, uh, Christina's not getting paid for this. I'm not getting paid for it either. And I don't care about that. I don't, money isn't the thing. Money is not the thing that drives me. It's not what r runs my soul and, and turns my heart crank. I, I want to help people. And when I, mm -hmm. when I find out the ability, the, 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 the ability that I have to be able to help people, I can't help but do what I do. And it stems a lot from that book, World Without Cancer. Um, at the very end of that book, and I think you'll resonate with this, Christine. I don't know if you've ever read that book or not. I highly recommend it. It's written by G. Edward Griffin. Um, he wrote it back in the 60s and then re-updated it again in the 90s. But um, at the end of that book, he, he made a statement that really hit me hard. He said, you now have the ability to live in a world without cancer. And the only reason that you have this ability is because someone out there somewhere was gracious enough to bring this information to your attention. Can you do any less for others? And that was like, <laughs> whoa. And, you know, I'll go and eat strangers' apple cores. I see somebody eating an apple, and they're get, jumping down to the court. I see they're looking for garbage to throw it in. I'll walk over to them and go, hey, excuse me. No, are you gonna eat that? And they'll go, no. I'm, I'm like, can I have it? And they go, are you nuts? I'm like, here, and I <laughs> chop that baby down, and they uh, and they freak out. And go, what the heck? You know, and I and it gives me the opportunity to tell them about the world without cancer, and that's why I do it. And it's the same exact thing with with Kong and water. I can do no less for others in this regard too. When it comes to cancer, it's my biggest pet peeve in this whole wide world. And I, I'm on a mission and I can't help myself. And so I love doing what I do. I love being able to meet with incredible people like you. You are going down to San Diego, right? Yes, I'm going down to San Diego. Uh, I will be there on the, on the 19th and um, for the convention, which is the biggest convention ever. Uh, for, the, for our 9.5 community out there. That's the biggest convention that I think everybody should go. And if you guys need extra tickets, um, you can get it at the door. It's 209 it's still 189 In case if those one who still want the special tickets, I think Tammy still have a few, contact her. Um, 149 And I think everybody should go because uh, with the people, um, this will be life-changing. Um, uh, convention, I believe. This is the very first time that I have seen uh, and Naji actually brought in two outside speakers who are actually high caliber outside speakers, uh, Chris Gunner, uh, Kyle. And I think that th those people, by just hearing from the message, is going to shift your world. And then on top of that, we have super, super cool distributors from around the world. Be, uh, that I, I know Romy Rodera is speaking, and I know that um, Joko is speaking. And I know Simba Reganti is speaking. Tamir Balthia Williams will be speaking. And I and I and I and and, and Mr. Um, um, uh, um, uh, Arima, who is one of our, who is a, a new global sales director of uh, global sales president of Enagic, is speaking. Mr. Shrew will be speaking. Um, <clears throat> and Matthew Jung, who actually changed the world of Enagic by bringing uh, under, by letting people know that you can do this whole thing online will also be speaking. And, and, and I think there's no better reason. I, th I couldn't think of any reason for not going. And, and plus, and I know that Daniel McCauley will be putting together a 6A global uh, tr uh, training on the, uh, on the 20th morning. Um, um, you can check back to the, to the flyers that on Enagic's website or even on Enagic's Facebook page um, to find out the time. And I know that Tamiya is putting forth a very special training as well. After the Saturday program, she's putting together at five o'clock, it's called Tamiya's Super Training, Unleash the Champion in You. And I, I believe her goal is to give you the hardware and software that you need to wrap up the weekend such that you can really unleash the champion and you know, exercise it 
amplify what you've learned. Um, so that will be at five o'clock, that means super training, um, and leash the champion in you. So I think everybody should go, honestly. Um, there's, I couldn't find out any reason they shouldn't go. And by the way, I know that there's any special premium that's only available in the convention that Najib will be selling um, and, and things like that. And this is what I heard. And I also know that they're going to make some special announcement that will, that will be the first time being heard by an Enage community. Uh, this is what I understand uh, from the headquarter. And, and, and you, know, if, you know, if you're still thinking, don't think, just go. Sometimes action will change your life. If you don't take any action, nothing will change. Things will still be the same. That's how one decision can change your life. And I think this is one of them if you're an energy people. If you're thinking of being an energy people, um, um, you know, uh, you're still questioning. Um, I'm not sure, JJ, if you know, uh, Tammy and I together with uh, Lin, uh, Lin, we did, uh, we, we usually do a Zoom call every Monday. Uh, it's actually demo, a demo Monday. Every Monday at 6 p.m. EST. And Tammy will actually do the sales pitch for you. Okay, we actually do the sales pitch for you. I'll give you the link after we after after this uh, after this call. Um, basically, you just need to hop on the Zoom call. She will do the what explanation for you. She's going to share her story with you, and um, I'm going to do a 20 minutes demo on the video for you. And she's also going to talk about the business opportunity from you. But be it if you don't under, you don't know, she's the very first million dollar earner, female uh, million dollar earner in a, in North America. Twelve years ago, one single year, she earned a million a million dollars, right? And I think there's no better pe person can uh, would would deliver the change your world, change your life message than her. So that's every uh, Monday, 6 p.m. EST. We, we did it on Zoom. You know, hop on. If you want to learn how to do a demo, if you have prospect who's interested, just bring it to the call for, uh, with, with, with you. And I, I'm sure that they will find value in it and understand why we're so into what we do. So uh, that's Monday. And then every Tuesday, as you know, Tammy is doing the Tuesday tea with me. And these are the two calls that I, mu I is my must go every week. Uh, Tuesday tea with me is actually on the Facebook Live, 10 p.m. EST. And um, today, uh, and I think tomorrow, she, her, her topic is about how to be a multi-million heir, right? And, and three things that you must know. So, so uh, I, I think that that will be high value. Um, so, so, you know, if you want to get up there and be a part of us, join us at the convention. If you couldn't make it, join us on Monday. Join us at JJ's show, uh, which is uh, 8.45 every day. Is that correct, Jojo? JJ? No, mon Monday yeah. through Friday, 8.45 a.m. Mountain time. Uh -huh. Right. So therefore, make sure that you hop onto that. That will be something that can give you value and or even watch a replay, right? And stuff like that. Okay. So, so very cool. I look for uh, you coming to San Diego, correct? Oh, yeah. I will see Arr! you. Uh, nice. We'll, we'll see each other on, in San Diego uh, in a few days. Yes. I'm looking forward to meeting you and giving you a real hug. Oh, I love hug. I'm a hugger. I love it. I love it. Okay. So yeah. I hope, uh, thank you so much for, 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 for this great interview and the opportunity for me to share the stories. Awesome. Thank uh, you so much, Christina. And so, you know, with that, everybody, you guys, I hope everybody found some value out of this today. Uh, once again, as we, we open the show the same way we, we close it, and that is with We Are the Kong Family, we have this really simple goal. We just want to change the world. And we're doing it one glass of 9.5, one lightning bolt in the box, one incredible guest, and one amazing family at a time. And remember, kids, do not forget your hugs. Do not forget your hugs and your hootie hoos. Love you so much, Christina. Look forward to meeting you. We'll be down, I'll be down there on the 20th and, uh, and uh, just looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time. God bless and have yourself a great day. Get out there and change the world, starting with your own. Much love. Thank you. So Have I'll see you then. Everybody.